This is Sibuyanensis rob cantlii. It's of a single clone. And what I wanted to show you was the, particularly the way the color changes. This is more or less lower. It's got wings. And as it morphs into upper pitches, it gradually goes through these changes. There's a, an intermediate pitcher. And moving over here, another intermediate. And over here, another intermediate. It's really a mighty plant, this. It's a fantastic cross for being robust. Pitchers are, are tough. And the stem is huge. Very little internodal spacing between the leaves. Very, very strong. And over on this side here, we have got a true upper, or very nearly. You can see the twirl in the tendril is almost there. So this is on a different plant, but the same clone. And moving down to this area here, we have what is undoubtedly an upper pitcher. You can see the full twist in the tendril. No wings on the pitcher. Very robust, very large and tough. I do love this sort of coloration that happens on para stones like this, where the, the ribs are accentuated by the coloration. There's another one here. It's been growing in darker conditions. There we go. It's, um, <laughs> these upper pitches are hanging down a bit low. Uh, reason being that the plant is, uh, is a big plant and it's drooped. So there we go. That's upper pitcher. Sabuyanensis rob cantlii. And if you've watched this far, I'm very happy about that. Thank you. I shall now take you to the other side of the nursery where I think there's another plant we can look at. Again, the same clone. And here in a different part of the nursery entirely, we've got a, a bevy of intermediate pitchers just sitting here on the moss. Bevy, is that the right word? It'll do. Intermediate pitchers. Love that uh, coloration on the peristome. There's one there, which is a bit younger. So it's still big and very robust, very hard pictures on this. Sabuinensis rob cantlii, this is of a single clone. Mm -hmm.